Oh! Oh, there's another wave, all right. Welcome back to more of the original Mass Effect. We're here on board the Normandy with Commander Sindarius Shepard. We're going looking for some missing researchers today. All right, let's go ahead and get the galaxy map up. All right, we just finished up here on Press Rock. in the Hawking Eta Cluster. Now we need to head to Hades Gamma. Let's hope I can find it. There it is. Hades Gamma Cluster. Let's go. And yes, the Antaeus system. Here we go, folks. data we've been presented that's where the missing researchers went missing all right we don't know the exact planet so we are going to have to do some searching all right there's nothing here at Agecko. Treban that sounds familiar all right Treban is a modest terrestrial world with an atmosphere composed of nitrogen and argon its surface is mainly composed of nickel with deposits of silver. Treban's environment is relatively mild, but the scarcity of water or similar enabling substances have prevented the development of any biosphere. Exogeny Corp. recently performed a test impact of a single water ice comet into the surface. The first step of a long-term plan to thicken the atmosphere and introduce water to the environment. The survey team is on the surface monitoring the geological and meteorological meteoro you know what I'm trying to say. Effects of the test impact. Most of the water released is still in the form of atmospheric vapor, but thick cloud banks have formed. There is every indication that this arid world will soon see its first rain. The survey team's progress has been hampered by frequent mechanical or computer failures in their GPS satellites. All right, here we go, people. Okay, who shall we take this time? I think we're gonna just go with a human squad here with Ashley and Caden. on Treban. Let's first of all do some upgrades because I think, yeah, it's been a while since we've visited with Ashley here. Let's give her full assault rifle skill with master overkill. Um, let's see. I guess we'll give you some fitness assault training. What does Soldier do? Increases health, okay. Going with that tank theme, and we'll put one in here for fitness. Okay, anybody else need an upgrade? Nope, we're good. Let's do a save. Alright, let's bring up the map. Alright, we have an anomaly. The research base, debris, and another anomaly. All right, we'll go over here to this first anomaly. All right, this 
this place doesn't seem to be as mountainous as some of the other planets we've been on, which is a good thing. That means that the Mako should not have any trouble. Still uh, hunting for experience points so we can continue to level up our character. And also off camera, I did go down to the, uh, I don't know, you call him a quartermaster? The, the guy downstairs that sells stuff in the Normandy went down there and sold off a bunch of uh, things that I had picked up on some of our subsequent uh, planet side excursions all right here we go ancient debris Another Turian insignia. There are no signs of any survivors. The pod is an empty is empty except for a small tattered flag marked with the Nemanese colony insignia. See, they thought they were gonna catch me off guard with that pronunciation. I think I nailed it. <laughs> okay, map up. Okay, I guess we're just going to head straight to the uh, base. See what's going on. But I tell you, it sure feels good to be playing Mass Effect again. I feel like I'm back home. I played this game many years ago, but... Whoa! Oh no, it's a Thresher Maw. Or isn't it? Something just jumped. But I played this game, you know, many years ago. I used to play it over and over again. One, then two. Then two, over and over. I played two. Out of the three games, I played two the most. The third one, I just couldn't. Couldn't do it. That ending was just, it was too, too much. Okay, so there was all that growling and everything, and... Alright, whatever. I guess if there was a Thresher Maw... We missed it. I mean, the earth was shaking, everything was going on. Looks like nobody's home. All right, looks like time for some investigation. All right, search these... whatever you want to call these things. Computer console. According to these data logs, the survey team unearthed some kind of alien technology. Could be answers at the excavation site. Okay, and here we have a storage locker. Alright, Cryo Explosive 4. Starting to get up there now. Oh, and we leveled up. Nice. Okay, let's see what's in this other building. We can call it a building. It does look like a building. Medical kit. Alright. And we've got one more over here. Malfunctioning object. Hardened weave. All right, let's head on down here to this facility. Sure, what to expect. 
but we are going to save here. I have a feeling I know what's inside, but I'm not exactly sure. Whatever it is, it isn't good. Um, maybe we ought to apply our level ups here. Alright, we're going to give him more assault rifle ability. I'm going to give you more first aid. Okay. Hmm. Tough choices here. All right, we're just gonna try to toughen her up as much as we can. All right, here we go. some kind of alien technology and it turns them into mindless fanatics whatever they found it's long gone now so this is it I think we got him commander a cavern full of husks save just in case there's another wave of them. I don't want to have to do this all over again if we die. Oh! Oh, there's another wave, all right.
that accounts for all of the exogeny survey team. They were converted to cybernetic husks by devices similar to those used by the Geth on Eden Prime. How they came to be buried on a frontier world so far from Geth territory is a mystery. Hmm. Ashley? Negative contacts, Commander. I don't get why you with the heaviest armor are always the first to go down, okay? Alright, we have a storm shotgun and Turian Phoenix armor. Let's see, there could be either more husks, although it doesn't seem likely. But there could be something in here of value. Oh no! They are using dragon's teeth to, to turn these people into husks. Alright, average encryption. Let's see how this one goes. Got it. Alright, Edge 3 pistol, Lancer 3 assault rifle, and a Reaper 3 sniper rifle. Um, I don't think we need any of these. That's some um, metagel. Omni gel. Sorry, I keep getting those gels mixed up. But I'm trying to save up my money to um, buy some Spectre weapons. And yes, this one we had not gone down. More dragon's teeth. A sludge canister. Okay, a unity amp. Krogan liberator armor and sniper rifle. I think we're on the verge of unlocking sniper rifles for maybe Garrus and Ashley, but we're gonna omni gel it. Take the unity amp and the Krogan armor. We are gonna have to get Rex down here with us soon. to the surface. Just keep an eye out for any other canisters in here that might have something valuable. Like this locked crate. Got it. Striker pistol and sniper rifle. We will... surface. Let's just do a save here. And let's see, we have debris to check out. Not only debris, there's a red marker here indicating an enemy of some kind.
done and we are using our uh, Mako exploit where we get additional um, like two and a half times experience by killing inside the Mako by modifying uh, an INI file because I only want to play this game once to level 60 which is impossible to do without some sort of an exploit all right let's go ahead and decrypt this why are these people here Probably gonna have to use Omni Gel on this one. Okay, nothing really valuable here. Um, armor plating, we will Omni Gel. I think we have enough heat sinks already at level 3. Phasic rounds. I'll take these. But let's go. Right. Last stop? Not sure what that is, but let's head over there. It's really stupid, all those people just standing around in a circle like that. You would think that what they were guarding would have been valuable. At least in terms of what it carried. I mean, you know, some sort of... Uh, Super armor or rifle or something would have been nice. Because I, I am going to have to get rid of the N7 armor as much as I hate to do it. It's just not powerful enough. Wow. Where is this taking me? Uh-oh. Got a lot of... Looks like crashed probes. And what are we doing here? Deactivated. Alright, this device is transmitting tight beam signals into geosynchronous orbit. This disrupts the survey team's GPS satellites causing them to crash nearby. All right, it is disabled. So do these things have uh, any kind of loot in them or they're just like props? <laughs> I think these are just props. That's too bad. I should have been able to loot these things. They've got nothing in them. Alright, back in the Mako, and it is time to return to the Normandy. Another successful mission. We found out what happened to those hapless researchers transformed into cybernetic husks. All right, well, that concludes this episode. We will continue with more of Mass Effect. This is Hill, and I'm out.